Hubble. I have reached a part of space where I don't know what is going on. But there's a scorpion tail thingy. And it has an earth. I don't know what that is. And an eyeball. Look at me. My Greetings, Earthlings. It's Shane with Oddball Cards. If you're new to the channel, please take a second. Hit that back button. Maybe go uh, check out some war. Maybe uh, check out a chicken cacciatore recipe. Uh, check out Sharon's Pops, some plants. Anything but this, some Sudoku. All right, you've been warned. Uh, it's the start of football season, so I figured I would open a product that nobody really wants to see. I was insanely jealous of people finding the cheap Walmart stuff. The wife, Mrs. Oddball, was running some errands. I asked if we could go to a different Walmart because I had looked last week and a couple weeks ago with nothing. Uh, boom and Platinum. So in the year 2021 and 2020, I tried to get almost, uh, well, my top rookies in 2021, Cabrian, Hayes, in every single format. And that is when I realized no one cares about this. And so when I saw it, I jumped at the chance to open a product that no one cares about. All right. So David Pert came up to me as he is wont to do. Root beer in hand, corn dog, probably from Clark Sports Cards, and said, Oddball, we'd really like you to focus. This is another guy, one of my picks to click. I think uh, in the next couple weeks I'll do all of my picks to click that failed. Uh, here's a Yidi Cape prospect. Our numbered card is an Alex Benelas. All right. Best tools is bat. That's what we like to hear. And the legend, Albert Winnie the Pooh Holes, as Chris Berman would say. All right, you can go over in the uh, Colorado pile. Yes, the Colorado pile, the Red Sox pile. I said, dang it, David, focus on what? Is this just another ploy to get me to watch you to break dance? He said, no, but would it kill you to compliment my lime green track suit? Uh, <clears throat> Kurt Snyder is chuckling. I might have to get out the uh, knife for most of these packs. Oh, well. Uh, he said, uh, in addition to my track suit, the booty shakers are working on an interpretive dance to hot and her. So that's a little bit of cultural appropriation. One, you're not a rapper. Hey, Hunter Green just threw six innings for the Reds who are fighting for a spot. Jordan, my guy, not his rookie year. I'll put him up here. I love him. Uh, can't cover the captain or Cody. Not putting him up there. All right. Here's a prospect, George Feliz. Hey. George has the range and athleticism to stick in center field. All right, good for you. I love this variation. We'll call it the uh, David Shines His Shoe variation. That's pretty cool. Jonathan Classe. I've heard his name. All right, you can go over it. This is from Gradeworthy. I was digging through some boxes. Good friend of the channel. And a Francisco Lindor. All right. Uh, David, don't sit around and try to sound like Nelly. Uh, you sound ridiculous when you do it. He said, me and the rest of my heathens. I said, all right, David, I warned you. I am going to walk around with my fingers in my ears now. David Aloysius McIntyre, Floodgate Pert. He said, did I get you listening now? I said, sometimes I hate you, David. All right, let's see what's in this pack. I'm struggling. You may laugh. I'm enjoying this, even uh, if I'm the only one. Xander, uh, he was not rated. I was reading a nice ESPN article. They, they rated him as very good and not elite. Aaron Zavala. Oh, this is a beautiful variation. Carlos... Colmenares? Eh, I bet I don't know what it's called. P.E., whatever it is. Tampa Bay Rays. And a Brandon Marsh rookie. We'll take it. 
Love those miscellaneous rookies. Love watching them with Philly. More packs in here than I thought there'd be. Ah. David said, I think you and Criterium Racer need more structure to your adventures. I said, David, who are you? The time travel police? You use this thing to go and find alternate universes just to try their different Twinkies and snowballs. So who are you to tell me I need more structure? And then he slapped me. And it hurt. Because I've been eating peanut brittle again. And that's rough on the teeth. All right. David said, there are no hard and fast guidelines, but I'm sure you and Criterium, race, uh, Criterium whispering war stats to Clint when he's 10 years old and sleeping is a measure of resources wasted. I said, oh, Alec Thomas, and that is a rookie. He is not having a good year, but I like him. Jordan McCants prospect. I think I need a prospect pile. Do I have one? I might. Beautiful Rafael Devers. You're going in that pile because there's Boston guys in it. Jose Abreu is finally starting to swing the bat. And my guy Seymour. I said, all right, you got me there. It's really fun to mess with 10-year-old Clint. Hiding his pocket money. Sometimes adding to it. Hiding hot dogs in his some of his shoes in his closet until they stink. David said, that is really not nice. I thought you were trying to be nicer to people. I said, well, there's people and then there's Clint. Oh, Andrew Abbott. I thought it was Andrew Painter. That's why I went, ooh, made that weird noise. Here's a rookies, a Vidal Bruhan. Why am I putting all the rookies there? These are miscellaneous guys. Nick Lodolo. All right. All right. This episode is brought to you by Clark Sports Cards. Ugh. He has a swap meet. Turn your turnips into Herberts, Acunas, and Ant-Mans. I don't know what it is. He just can't get enough uh, chicken feed. Turnips, artichokes. Must be a North Carolina thing. I don't know. All right. I had an interesting piece of hate mail slash question. Uh... Joe Ryan miscellaneous rookie. Hey, look at that. These are this is why you buy these boxes. You can go with Cody. I'm knocking on wood. Not even gonna talk about him. Norhe Verda prospect. A Tyler Black prospect. And the Hall of Famer. Ah, you can go over Veritech. You've had a nice showing there, Captain. Love that Julio. Uh, from the man we just honored. Craig B, he said, you talk a lot about Doritos and Yoo-Hoo's and people smelling like Slim Jims. He sounds a little guilty to me there, folks, if he's taking offense to that. And he said, you don't do a lot of talking about old school closers. And I said, all right, Craig B, you are the king. But if you want to go old closers, I was a Randy Myers fan back in the day. Uh, did well with the Orioles and then had a mysterious end to his career. I am going to top load that. I don't care if no one likes this set. I like this card. Where'd my top loaders go? Dang it. I am disorganized. Forgive me for a moment while I find. Yeah, I'll find it in a minute. All right. It is safe. You don't have to wonder. So, not only was I a huge Randy Myers fan. I caught Lee Smith toward the tail end of his career when uh, part of the reason I'm ambivalent about saves is I am a card-carrying Moneyball member and uh, Billy Bean is one of the purest and he's not, uh, he'll often pump up a closer and trade him. So, uh, but back in the 90s when I was watching those, Starling Marte, Jose Torres rookie, uh, what is this nice looking variation here? Sorry, I've got my piles mixed up. Hey, a Khalil Watson. That's really cool. I know he had some problems and we won't talk uh, about Josh Donaldson's like, you want to talk problems? Yes, you had some problems, sir. All right, we'll sleeve that one up in a little bit. Was a big fan of uh, Lee Smith. 
Close out some games for the, some of those good 90s, early to mid 90s teams. I am still scared and pucker up a little bit when I see Tom Hinkey. He was a dynamite closer. I thought I was the only one, but I recently came across like a little Facebook article about how dominant he was. He just, uh, I hated him. I'm going to be honest with you about that. Uh, Lee, so that's Lee Smith, Tom Hinkey, Randy Myers. Uh, I am a Ken Caminiti fan. Loved that guy. Just so gritty and a gamer. That was just on my list next to my closers here since uh, I have to come prepared when Craig B calls me on the carpet. So I didn't get any fancy war stats because the king, Craig B, is not a huge fan of those. Last pack here, I'm going to power through this. Hopefully uh, your fantasy football team is doing well. Uh, I see a Juan Soto on the back. That's pretty cool. Joey Gallo, uh, I, his agent assured people he'd hit over 300. He's under 200. I don't want to be smirching too much. Oh, no. No. It's a Dansby Swanson. He's sort of the uh, antithesis of this channel. I'm just going to put him face down near a pile, not even in a pile. I lost my momentum to even make fun of Joey Gallo. And our last card is Juan Soto. Shane Baz. Uh, is he a miscellaneous rookie? He's got a cool name, so he'll go up there. Hope you have a great week. Hope your weekend got your recharge. Toodles.